Hello everyone, welcome back. It's another challenge video on TGR, that's Gaming Robbo. Guys, we have had this request from one of my friends called Peter. Peter is an avid Bristol City fan. He wants me to take charge of them and try and get them promoted as quickly as we can. Now, I've never been a Bristol City manager on this game before. I know of a couple of players on this uh, on this team. But I'm not much in tune with their team, to be perfectly honest. Me being an avid Talk United fan, going up to Bristol City, it's, it, it's leaving a sour taste in my mouth. But we're doing this request as a challenge. Now, guys, just before we do crack on with the video, please make sure, if you do like the video, make sure you smash a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell, too. And don't forget, guys, we do have our members club, so make sure you select the mem join on the members club as well down below. Now, guys, without further ado, let's get let's get this road cracking on. Let's get the show started. Let's see how we get along as the Bristol City manager trying to get out of Division Two. So guys, we've come to the first game of the season. As you can see, we're going to be going against Peterborough. Now we've made a fair few changes within our starting squad. So we managed to bring in, because we had no money to start with whatsoever. So we brought in Alex Higgins, Monty, Rankin, Twist, Adolfo. Exchange with Chris Brandon, Ryan Ashington from Torquay, Brian Bubb. And then we managed to get some money after making some player sales, which I'll go through momentarily. We brought in Lee Crooks. Which was, to be honest with you, um, it was a bit of a, I need to bring a right back in quite quickly. Because we had no right back because Bradford came in to sign uh, Kevin and Manquo. So uh, I need to bring some, uh, I, need, I needed to pay to get a right back basically. But we sold John Burns, Robin H um, Hulbert, Mickey Bell, Greg Gordridge, uh, sorry, Goodridge to Torquay. Obviously, we got Chris Brandon and uh, Ryan Ashington. Scott Murray, Kevin, obviously, and Aaron Brown. So, all in all, we managed to bring in £1.8 million worth of players' uh, money to the club, obviously, for selling those players. Now, I'm going to be doing a bit of a squad rotation because I feel that with Bristol City, they haven't got a vast amount of players in their team. And obviously, but these are the players that really they they don't cut the mustard for Bristol City. So we're going to be playing with these guys, rotating it quite a lot because there's a lot of games to play in the second division for Bristol City. But let's head over to the first game of the season, and hopefully we can do uh, we could do well with Bristol. Hopefully we can get you know a good start to uh, our season. So here we go. Oh, we've got to put the commentary speed on, haven't we? Right, come on, Bristol City. We need uh, we need a good start to our Division Two campaign. The amount of times I've driven past Ashton Gate and I've actually seen the club. Oh my good God! Peterborough makes it one nil. This is not a good. Tony Thorpe, get in, lads. Get in, you little beauty. One one. We're back in the game now. It's come up to half time. Right. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to keep it as it is for the minute. For the minute, we might make some changes momentarily. Get in! Tony Thorpe, you little legend. It's 2 1 to Bristol City. Come on, let's start our first game of the season with a beautiful win. Come on. Oh my god, we won 2-1. Well, Adolfo didn't play that well in this game. That's a shame, but uh we've had, we had a good game. We had a good game, eighth in the league at the moment, first game of the season. It's not too bad. But I um, don't expect us to be bringing in anyone else unless we need to, um, because unless we unless we come across um, some youth players, which is well worth buying, because uh, that's that's one thing we do. I do want to be bringing in. I haven't even sorted this out yet, which is really bad of me. Um, 
and try and keep everything sort of British for a any more incoming players because uh, it's it's going to be hard for us to try and you know obviously bring in any other players you know apart from this I mean with uh, with this so what we can do is we can go region go UK and Ireland um, look at club I want to go non-league no others under 21s let's keep an eye on can't do that okay um, okay so with Paul Shepard we'll get him looking for other youth players as well so as you can see we've got just under a million pounds worth of uh, funds obviously in the bank but it's money that we're going to have to put aside because Bristol City's money's deplete so quickly because of their big wages so I'm, 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 I'm that's the reason why I'm saying yes to selling you know a lot of these players because you know we need the money to be brought in I mean even though he's only getting paid 180 quid a week but I'm waiting for the big name players the big well the big name players the big wages guys to actually get sold but a lot of them they just they're not going to be looked at unfortunately right Adolfo will swap you with Lee Matthews um, Monty stay on the subs bench Ryan Ashington swap with Doherty um, right let's see yeah we'll keep it like that for the for the next game away against Wrexham god come on we need an away win against Wrexham get in Tony Thorpe in the first minute come on boys need to make it two I don't like this don't like this at all. We need to make it 2 0, boys. Come on. Come on. One nil half time. No. I'm going to keep it as it is for the time being. Come on. Make it 2. Make it 2. Come on, lads. Oh, we're going to hold. Oh, we need to hold on to this. Six minutes to go. Ah, oh, Doherty. Uh, Ryan Ashington, come on for the last, what, minute? Oh, right, 1 0. We'll, uh, we, we'll. Doherty's up for two months. That's not good. That is not good at all. And we got defensive right mid. We don't need a defensive right mid. We've got Shannon. And Holland's not out. Well, he's not playing for the rest of the season anyway. So we, we've we got adequate cover, cover for the time being. But yeah, that's uh, it's not. That's not good for us right Burry recommended Paul Evans midfield central mm, no uh, no definitely not Phil Mulrine god if he was a free transfer I would be I'll be all over him definitely but yeah, it's uh, it, it ain't happening. Right, Lee Matthews didn't really do much, so we're going to put Monty in with Tony Thorpe. Um, hopefully, hopefully, we can do well in the League Cup, get a good cup run, get some money coming in. You never know; we might get we might get a couple of uh, giant killings. But then again, I don't see it happening with this Bristol City squad. 
it's it, there's still so much that needs to be done to this team. Oh my god, one nil to Bury. Get in, Tony Thorpe. He's the he's the man for Bristol City at the moment. He is the man. Get in. Millen makes it two one. Oh God, I thought that was going to be another penalty there. Another penalty, I thought that was going to be a penalty. Um, Monty's getting in the game slightly. Right, we're going to we're gonna try Alex Higgins instead of John Rankin. Come on Higgins, you can get involved with the game. Get in, Tony Thorpe again. Is it going to stay at 3 1? It looks like it is going to. Oh, Tony Thorpe with the hat trick. I tell you what. This lad, he is absolutely phenomenal. Really happy to... Oh, Matt L. Why can't I put him on? And now our injury woes continues. That is not a good... A good, uh, good for, place for us to be in at the moment. Dean Shields, right? We'll sign him. Oh, why am I getting recommended with him then? West Ham or at home? Oh, God. George Collier. Nah. Sean Nash. That is quite pathetic, that is. Bill Lomas, no way. Brentford. New boards took over Norwich City. Oh, hello, we're going way too fast now. Uh, Rob Clare, Rob Clare, he, uh, I don't know, bit of a gamble Rob Clare, I've not had him before but then again, that's the whole point, he's trying to find uh, different players, now Isaiah Anderson, I've not had him before but I do like the look of him but the problem is, he is what right, valued at £180,000 and that that is quite a lot of money for us Darren Powell no no Mark Williams nope Scott Walker Scott Walker no he's a no Paul McKnight we've got enough we've got enough forwards already no yeah, right. we we tell you what. At the end of each month, we'll we'll look at uh, these players in more detail rather than just going for a no 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 no. Uh, right, Lever can come on. Adolfo can start. Tony Thorpe is having all the opportunities and chances to score at the moment. So you know Matthews, Adolfo, Monte, they need to. They need to try and get involved with the game. They need to try and get involved with uh, with with these chances because Tony Thorpe he's taking all the chances at the moment and he's he's burying them each and every time. So these lads they need to start showing something because I'm I'm kind of slightly worried with the fact that we're paying them a lot of money uh, for salary wise and they're doing nothing. Apart from Tony Thorpe. Tony Thorpe should be getting all of their salaries. Nil-nil half-time. We are not doing anything 
Um, okay, so if I put let's change it up. Come on, Bristol. Come on. <sighs> not. I mean, we played much better in the second half, but not to not to the standards that we we need to be playing at hold oh, they want peter beadle thank god he peter beadle's another player that needs to go because he's getting five grand a week 20 grand a month for a player that really isn't all that yeah we'll take that mark kinsella's gone for eight million mark kinsella for eight million pounds god they got robbed Right, John Rankins coming back into the starting lineup. Um, now Millen, he's our captain. So I'm going to try Joe Burnell in centre back. Uh, we'll go back to Lee Matthews again. Oh God, right, Ryan Ashington, 83. Right, we need to uh, play Shannon. In defensive mid, Tony Thorpe does need a rest. <coughs> okay, so Adolfo is shattered, so Monty can play. No, what do we have to keep it like that? Michael Twist, I'm sorry, but you've got to play. Get in! Chris Brandon makes it 1 0 to Bristol City! Now, with Tony Thorpe having a rest from this game, is that going to open the opportunities for Monty and Matthews? We will see during the course of this game, of course, but are we going to be too heavily reliant on. Tony Thorpe if that is the case and you know that Tony Thorpe's the only one that's scoring goals for uh, within our striking department we will have to start looking at selling one or two of these of these strikers but Chris Brandon makes it 2 2-0 two to Bristol City uh, Simon Clist you can come on for John Rankin <laughs> and Matt Hill can come on for Michael Twiss so, oh, Cliss was offside. Come on, lads. It's going to stay at 2 0, isn't it? This was the opportune moment for the strikers to get their names on the score sheet whilst Tony Thorpe's having a rest from this game. And they can't do that. They can't do it at all. So Peter Beadle's going to Hull City. Uh, what's our... We've got 1.2 at the moment. 1.8 in the bank. Right, so we've got we've got a nice bit of money in at the moment. Steve Beckett, no. We've got strikers. We've got enough strikers as it is. Oh, what's that? Uh, off the ball markings, poor. CSKA Kiev. They want Sean May. Mm each to their own right Doug Pitts 
Right, there's no one there's no one good there. Danny Carter from Metfield, Tiffield, no. Richard Stacey, you're judging 17. I'm questioning that a little bit. Marvin Andrews, 1.5 million, no way. James Grady, no, he's a striker, striker, striker. Defender, Barry McLaughlin. No. Scott Walker, it's 30 grand, but... <clears throat> no. Right, we all know Phil Mulrine is a good player, but now Norwich City have money, they're going to expect quite a bit of money. So, no one that we need to really look at, look into at the moment. Right, so we're at home against Wigan. Uh, right, Adolfo and Tony Thorpe. <coughs> Burnell can come off, Lever can come back on. Uh, Higgins come on for John Rankin. Right, there we go. <laughs> And Berry makes it 1-0 to Wigan Athletic. Come on, Bristol City. Oh, should have been 1-1. One, one. Not a good first half. Not a good first half for us at all. all right. Chris Brandon, get up there. John Rankin, come on for uh, Ashington. Come on, Bristol City. Oh, we're coming to our first defeat of the season. This is absolutely horrific. Sixteen shots on goal. Not even Tony Thorpe can get a shot on goal in in that game. Recommended English. No, I've seen him already. Craig Fleming. Leaf Featherstone. No. Port Vale, so they're playing a 5 3 2 sweeper formation. Michael Walsh is a rock at the back. Yeah, I know he's a good player. He's a forward, excellent prospect for the future. Well, he's already started playing for Aberdeen, so that's pointless for me to even look at him. Right, um, John Rankin, come back into the fold. Lee Peacock. Getting your first game of the season, giving you a chance to see if you can actually perform to the ability that you need to be playing at. Carey needs more time to rest, so Lever goes back into the starting lineup. All right, that's the team. Let's. We need to get three points in this game. Oh, come on, come on. Twist, don't be an arsehole.
Get in, Tony Thorpe. You're back in the team now. Get in, lad. Back into your goal scoring run. Let's keep going, Tony Thorpe. McPhee equalises. Our lead only lasted 10 minutes. We've got to go again, Bristol City. Come on, boys. <sighs> no, I'm going to give him a chance. Lee Peacock, I need to give you a chance. Come on. Oh. Go home. Seriously. And the referee ignores the penalty shout. Come off it. We're seriously going to get done over by Port Vale here, aren't we? Get in, Tony Thorpe, in the 90th minute, you little beauty! We wasted so many chances in that game. So many chances. Two hundred forty thousand, but it's gonna. Wickham, right, Wickham. I'm te I'm half tempted to play one one person up front because the other boys they're not they're not doing the job at all. They're really not doing the job. Um, yeah, we'll keep it like that for this game. Hopefully we can get someone other than Tony Thorpe scoring a goal. But Tony Thorpe is is man on fire at the moment. I mean, if if a team comes in to wanting to buy him, it's going to cost a lot of money. You know, a lot of money for Bristol City at least anyway for for them to actually try and prize him away from us. This is stupid. Adolfo, come on for Lee Matthews. Come on. Get in. Adolfo scores his first goal in the 88th minute. They're surely going to give us a three points. Get in. Oh, Adolfo, if that's what it takes to bring you on at half time and you score, I'll do that every game. Easily. Barry, Stephen Hamill, he doesn't look that bad. 700,000, no. James McFadden, I don't know if he develops into uh, into the type of player he, he obviously he was during his uh, uh, career over at Everton, but um, it'll be interesting to see if he does. All right, come on. If Monty doesn't score by half time, then Adolfo will be coming on. And uh, hopefully he'll be upsetting the team. Oh, get in, Monty! It's only taken you like seven games, I think, for you to actually score your first goal. But you finally did it. So good on you, lad. 1 0 to Bristol City. And can we make it two before half time? No. Keep the same team for a minute. Oh. Right, Matt Hill for Michael Twiss. So now we've got no left back. Right. 
Tony Thorpe's not doing much in this game, so he's coming off. Adolfo's coming on. Come on, we need to make it 2 0, boys. No, 1 0 that stays. I mean, it's another three points. I think, you know, we've got to look at it, but. Our goal scoring record, we're not scoring many goals, which oh, he's out for a month. Well, let's see, let's see what there is loan wise at left back. Andrew Frampton, he will have to do. I mean, if we have him for the rest of the season, we can have him as cover. We're not going to pay any wages for him. Johnny Allen. Johnny Allen, he's a good player. Stephen Simons. in the league are you um, I'll be interested in see how he develops this is the problem he's valued at 600,000 god I'm so looking forward to playing West Ham United in the league cup Steve Mill note. I don't know what happened with the recording, guys. Uh, for some reason, it didn't record. But give you a quick um, low down. Um, West Ham, we lost 3 2 in the 110th minute. They scored their winning goal in the League Cup second round, so we are out of the League Cup. Um, Cardiff City, we beat them 2 1 thanks to Brandon scoring a brace. We our biggest win of the season so far. Colchester, we beat them 6-0. Brandon getting a hat-trick, but Brian Bubb got the first hat-trick. But 1-0 uh, at half-time, we score five in the second half, which is absolutely amazing. And Chesterfield, who were third in the league before this game started, we beat them 1-0 thanks to Brian Bubb. So uh, it's, it's going well for us at the moment. After 11 games, we are finally top of the table three points clear but Wigan do have a game in hand and they could climb above us in the table depending on their goal difference so hopefully we can uh, we can carry on with this uh, rich rain rich fame of form at the moment um, but we're 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 hoping for the best but now we're going against Brighton Monty come off you can go have a rest. Peacock can go on the subs bench. Doherty swap with Ashington. And we brought in Frampton on loan from Crystal Palace because Michael Twist had received uh, an injury which was going to last uh, a, a month or so, if I remember rightly. So uh, we brought in Frampton on loan to try and help us with the season. We got him on a season long loan, so he's we've got adequate cover for left back now as well so dead happy with that Loney and um, hopefully we can get the three points against Bristol City uh, against Brighton but Tony Thorpe he's starting to have a little bit of a goal drought right now I'm slightly worried for him because he started off really really well and now all of a sudden it's just not clicking Chris Brandon get in get in lad 1-0 to Bristol City um, Tony Thorpe, I'm going to take you off. Take you off. Peacock can come on. Come on, Bristol. We need a second goal. We need a second. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, let's not play silly games here, Bristol City. We need a second goal. 1-0 is not a, a, a sufficient a sufficient lead right here.
we're trying to hold on. We're trying to hold on to this. We got the three points. Frankly, one nil was not that good a result for us because they they were in a relegation zone. We should have beaten them by more, but doesn't matter now. Boston United, who do have Simon Rusk, who I'm uh, I'm a little bit apprehensive about them. I can see. I've got a really weird feeling. Oh, Championship Manager 3 legend he is. Um, I can see them doing the dirty on us and, and, and beating us, which I'm not looking forward to facing Bristol. I'm not looking forward to facing Boston United. Bournemouth is our next destination. Home of Eddie Howe, who should still be in Bournemouth, and he is. He's not that bad a defender, actually. Not that bad for uh, for Division Two status, that's for sure. Um, Doherty's going to come on. Ashington's going to rest. That's going to be the only change to the side for the time being, and hopefully we can get hopefully we can get three points against Bournemouth because they're once again they're in a relegation battle as well. I say battle; it's only the start of the season, isn't it? But we're uh, we're a quarter of a way into the season at the moment, and get him, Brandon, Chris Brandon. I tell you what, he is a, a magnificent player on this game from Torquay United, ironically as well, and he is doing the job for us this season. Um, Peacock can come on for Adolfo. Come on, we need we need the second goal, Bristol City. I'm not comfortable with a one nil lead over Bournemouth. We're trying up we're trying to break through the Bournemouth defence, but it is not happening. And I can see them equalising here. I oh, knew it. I knew they were going to equalise. What a... Jo oh, really? That stuff just ain't funny. It really isn't funny because... Right, it's time. It's time to sell one of them Lee Matthews right well who's earning well yeah we're getting rid of you earning that much money Lee Peacock will get rid of you we can get nearly two million for the pair of them if we can get if we can sell them on who wants Millen Crystal Palace? Really? Crystal Palace wants my Millen. Um, right, okay. Um, Ashington. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit shocked by that. Crystal Palace wants my 35-year-old centre-back Millen. That's a bit of a a weird interest from them Chris Brandon he's done it again that's his 10th goal of the season and again Chris Brandon is on fire at the moment Right, Monty, the Tony Thorpe, dead centre, and Adolfo come on for Monty. Higgins can come on for John Rankin. Yeah. 
is any of Tony Thorpe finally he scores it's his 10th goal of the season I don't know how many games it's been since Tony Thorpe has scored I think the last game he scored was against West Ham United in our 3-2 defeat in the League Cup second round but 3-0 great result Tony Thorpe's back on the score sheet once again which is great to see and at this moment we are looking good but I can I can see an upset coming soon I can feel an upset coming soon I'm not looking forward to it Millen I'm going to give you a rest and Hill can start in this game Brandon needs a rest so Higgins can start Swindon Town They've got Joe O.C. Kufo, who, who I do rate on this game. He he works wonders for lower league club or lower league clubs. Don't oh get him, Tony Thorpe. Don't forget, guys, to have a second season with Bristol City. Oh, Higgins, Tom Doherty's gonna. No, I can't. Monty can come on. As I was saying, if you want a second season with Bristol City, guys, we oh, we need 50 likes on this video to have a second season with them. Hopefully, they will be in Division 1. Um, if they're not, obviously, we'll be having a second season in Division 2. But uh, at this moment in time, I am not happy with the fact that we have conceded. And I said Joe O.C. Kufor, I, I said he's a good player. And... Lo and behold, get in, Tony Thorpe. It's 2 1. Oh, shut the front door. Come off it. Two, Ruddy, two. Higgins out for 10 days. I knew, I knew that. Uh, something was going to happen soon it, 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 the writing's on the wall <sighs> absolutely abysmal that was Lee Peacock out for a month well that's going to stop anyone from wanting to sign him Higgins off Brandon on Monty can start Hill Ryan Ashington needs a rest. Captain Marvel needs to get back. Oh, BA. Good Johnson makes it 1 0 to Stoke. Oh, sweet Jesus. Really? Stoke City are winning 2 0 up in 8 minutes. This is not how I saw this game going. Stoke City are a good team. They're fifth in the league. But seriously, what is going on? Right, time to bring them up. Doherty, run back. <clears throat> Rankin, run back. Monty Stokes it here down to ten men and we still we still can't even score. We still can't even get a shot that contest the keeper that is absolutely ridiculous how we've played in this game how many opportunities have we had in the second half we had over 10 opportunities in the second half and we couldn't we couldn't do anything 
Barry wants to buy Andrew Frampton. I am not paying £200,000 for him. So if he goes, he goes, which it looks like he is. Crystal Palace wants to buy Millen. As I said, you need to pay me good money. Don't really want to sell Millen, but if we get good money for him, I will begrudgedly accept it. Frampton's accepted that offer. Crystal Palace, 240000 for Millen. We'll accept that. Frampton's now at Bury. So we do need a new left back. Christopher Doig. He's more of a centre back, but I can I can definitely use him for the rest of the season on loan. Unless no, Liam Kearney's not. Right, we've got one point four million. Let's just see who's on the transfer list. Adi Akambai, Michael Moles, Jonathan Mackin. Craig Forrest of West Ham. Okay, there's not a lot there that I'm really interested in at the moment, but we'll never say never. that We could come across a player soon that will make me change my mind. Dinamo Minsk won 6-2. I wonder... I wonder if the hero that is Maxim Saigalko got in on the act. No. No, he's not getting a look in at all, is he, unfortunately? Right. <clears throat> Bristol City. Um, right, we'll start off with Adolfo this time. And we've got to put Michael Twist back in on the starting lineup. We'll put Christopher Doig on um, the subs bench for this game. More than likely, bring him on at some point during the course of the game. See how we're getting along. But uh, Millen, Millen's going to come off, and I think we'll start with Lever. Um, who's got the best influence? All right, it's Tom Doherty, Lewis Carey, John Rankin. All right, we're going to make John Rankin our new captain because Lewis Carey and Tom Doherty they're rotating, so Rankin is going to be our our main captain. Come on, Bristol. I can't believe I'm still... I'm, I still can't believe the fact that I'm cheering for Bristol. It feels like I'm betraying Torquay United. Southwest Derby. <sighs> Come on, boys. We can uh, we can get a, a win over QPR here. Oh, my God. Doo-doo. What a stupid name. That's their first chance as well. Everyone else seems to be fine. We just need to break through. Seriously. Oh, Dolfo, he brings us back. It's 2-1. We just need one more goal, Bristol City. Get in, Tony Dorp! It's Toto! Now we got to go, in, go for the winner, Bristol City. Come on, boys. You can go for the winner now. Right, I wonder if Doig would be better in centre defence. Michael Twist having Doig next to him might make it him a little bit more um, stable in defence. 
Oh, we're behind Stoke City now, which is uh, frustrating because we were at one point top. And we're going to get a quarter of a million pounds for Millen. We are going to have to look for uh, for someone new. But needs to be someone really influential. We need someone who's um, really strong mentally. Richard Jobson, he's 38. <sighs> Jamie Victory. I mean, I'm purposely trying to stay away from players like that. But why do they always come crashing back into our screen? Mark Robinson, he's got 14 influence. Richard Walker. Terry Angus. Gary Locke. Gary Locke ain't that bad. I mean, off the ball is pretty pants, if we're being honest. But then again, you look at Jamie Victory, and he's he's a he's a legend on the game, isn't he? Right, he's trying to force his way into the team, so I'm going to be cheeky and put a ten thousand pound bid in. I'm not paying quarter of a million for you. Oh, 32 years old, no. Um, right, we'll stick with that for the time being. We'll see what happens. I really wasn't planning on getting players like Jamie, Jamie Victory, but <clears throat> seems though he's transfer listed. I'm going to take full advantage of it. <clears throat> New board takeover Sheffield Wednesday. <clears throat> oh, so they've rejected ten thousand pounds. Fourteen thousand. <coughs> they want eighteen. We'll go sixteen thousand. <laughs> Right, so he'll be used as a squad rotation, cheapest option for us. So now we've signed Jamie Victory for £16,000, just in time for the FA Cup, and put you there. Doig on centre back duty. And you know what? I'm going to change this up slightly. <clears throat> Higgins, you haven't had much game time, which I'm really quite sorry about. So you can come on for Bub for this game. Now, FA Cup first round, Boston United. Are winning 1-0 it was it didn't even register a minute on the clock and they scored I was about to say they're in the Conference League I'm trying to hold the anger in at the moment because that is absolutely disgraceful start oh my good God What on earth is going on with Bristol Chuffin City? Bub for Higgins. I have to take Tony Thorpe off. He's doing abysmal. <clears throat> Ashington's on for Doherty. Come on. I'm in absolute 
Oh my god, Crooks equalised in the 81st minute. That was absolutely abysmal. Ab abysmal. What what are we doing? Playing like that against Boston United. I mean that was absolutely ridiculous. No, not Doig. What am I doing there? Bub. Well, who are we going to have in the second round? Plymouth Argyle. We seriously need to step up our game because that was dreadful. I want to face Boston United straight away because that was dreadful. We need to get back to our uh, our old way so I'm gonna put Doig on the subs bench for this game Ashington's gonna start Monty's gonna go in front of Adolfo for this game as well <coughs> seriously <coughs> seriously Oh my god. So we bring in we bring in Jamie Victory and our defence has all of a sudden gone really really weak. <clears throat> Mike Stowell's on five rated. This is just absolutely mental this is Adolfo makes it 2-1 we've got a goal back we need to get another goal <clears throat> oh my god seriously this is annoying this is so annoying right now Oh, shut up. Shut up. I am not accepting that at all. I'm not accepting that at all. But Lever is doing absolutely sweet FA. <coughs> Right, so we're going to try Doig in at left back. Victory, centre back. We seriously need to start going into our winning ways again. Monty makes it 1-0. Good start, but this is an extra game we shouldn't have to play. <clears throat> God, every time I see Boston United attacking, it feels like they're going to score. So I'm now not comfortable with our goalkeeper. Adolfo come on for Monty. Two nil all over. We're through to the second round of the FA Cup going against Plymouth Argyle at home, I think it was. <clears throat> so we will take that, we will take that and uh, hopefully we can go into the third round and play a big Premier League team away from home and get some uh, good revenue from that. Tony Thorpe, 3-0, get in. Finally you get a goal, you prick. 
Right, Michael Twist is going to have to come on for Doig as he's injured. Three now. Thank God we beat them. I was genuinely worried that we weren't going to be able to hack it against them in, in the replay. Right, just out of curiosity, because it's um, that time of the month now, it's December. I want to see who is available. This is a guy that I've had a few times before people mentioning that he turns out to be really, really good and he, he's more of an impact player. Um, I've had him once. He didn't really perform for me that, that well, but I'm more than happy to try again. Chris Bart Williams. Genuinely interested in bringing him into Bristol City. I don't need to look for attackers. Robbie Savage. Robbie Savage is a good player to bring in for uh, Bristol City. In fact, he 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 is available now. Sixteen thousand. You've got to be having a giggle, mate. When's Chris Bart Williams? End of the month. Dark Heinen. Agility is shocking. Don't know if it's someone that we should go for. Keep tabs on him till the end of the month. Alan Rogers. Now he's definitely someone that we need to bring in for Bristol City. offer that and hope for the best that he can uh, accept it. Sean Gota, no. <clears throat> He's transfer listed by request. He's, he's a good... He can work wonders for Bristol City. He can get us promoted to the Premier League. That, that I do like in him. I do like Stephen Simons. I think he's someone that we can we can develop. <clears throat> if we can't get Alan Rogers, Chris Powell, he's good to have for a couple of seasons, I feel. Vince Bartram, no. Matt Letizia, what a little legend he is. Chris Beach. <clears throat> Thomas Meyer. We can get a good season out of him, maybe two. So Thomas Meyer might be someone that we could look into. Samuel Okonowo. When's his contract? 30th of June. Other than that, I think... Frank Sinclair? No. I think... Maybe I think that might be it for us. Obviously, we're looking at three, maybe four more people to give um, contract offers to. Micah Hyde. Micah Hyde. Now then. We're offering him a contract. So. He is good. He is good. David Graham. He's brilliant in Division 3. But. Every time I, got, I get promoted. We're talking United to, to, to Division 2. I always get people wanting to sign him and I and I fold over and I accept it. So I might I might put a bid in for him. I doubt it, but I might do it. <clears throat> Phil Mulrain. C 
See, I want him, but I don't know. I would, if I do get him, I I think I'd need to change our formation for the next season. Because I do think that we would need to we would need to play to his strengths. Keith Welch, no. Right, okay, so I am kind of looking like maybe that is everything. Chris Carruthers. Um, so yeah, so that yeah, so we're probably looking about five, five people extra that we can bring in. <clears throat> right, so we've got no Doig, so Michael Twist is back in the starting lineup. Lever is on the subs bench. Other than that, Chris Brandon needs a rest. I'm hoping that we can get three points after our win against Bristol, um, Boston United. Get in Jamie Victory. After our win against Boston United, I'm thinking maybe that we can develop on it and we're starting well against Oldham Athletic. Get in, lad. 3-0. Now it's time to bring a doll for one. I'm going to rest Tony Thorpe now for the rest of the game. Um, I think now we can start potentially resting um, our strikers because we're now starting to hit a little bit of form. But Tipton pulls a goal back, back from Old Oldham and now it's 3-2. Jamie Victory, come on for Twist. Twist, get off. Get in, Higgins. It's 4-2. We've got the three points, even though we had a bit of a scare with Oldham Athletic coming back into the game. And now it's five. Get in, Adolfo. That's only his fifth goal this season. He's had a bit of a poor start this season. But we've got a game in hand. We win that game in hand. Depending on other results, we can go. We could go second, but we could go third or fourth, depending on results. Yeah, Powell, I still would rather you all probably be uh, leaving. Micah Hyde, we've offered him a contract. Tony Thorpe. Crew Alexandra, you can sod off. Right, no one's in for him at the moment. So I'll leave it as it is for the time being. Who else are we going to be losing? Um, contract. Tom Doherty. To be fair, I would, I will let him go. Christopher Doig. Obviously, we've got him to the end of the season. But Tony Thought, definitely, we need to try and keep him. He is an absolute must. We must try and protect him. We must try and keep him because he is absolutely brilliant for us this season. Um, heart and soul of the team Tony Thorpe is so we need his goals we need his contributions to the team Shanahan can go Alan Rogers signs a new deal for Forrest that is a massive blow because then what we left with Chris Powell like I said I can get a couple of seasons out of him maybe definitely one David Partridge but he's more of uh, a, a, a centre back than than a left back. I can't do anything about it until end of the month for him anyway. 
Oh, Wolves have put a bid in for Micah Hyde. Now that's going to be hard to try and topple. Savage rejects his contract offer. Keep it at that. See if he accepts that. Um, tactics, right. So Brandon can come back on. Try it again with Michael Twiss at left back. <clears throat> Chris Brandon makes it 1-0 to Bristol City. Get in. All right, we need to build on it now, Bristol City. Need to build on this. Try and get a couple more goals in before half-time. Adolfo, come on for Monty. Oh, come on, Twiss. Get in, Chris Brandon. 2 0. We've got our three points. <clears throat> and Brandon's got a hat trick. You can now come off Brandon and give yourself a nice, well earned rest. Twist swaps with victory. Then Lever can go in at centre back. Get in three nil, <clears throat> but Stoke, Stoke are still running away with the league at the moment. Tony Thorpe signs a new contract. Good. Now Plymouth Argyle. Oh, someone wants. Right, scouts have been watching other people at the moment. Let's see what they say. <clears throat> Kenton, uh, no, Brancati, he could have been someone that we could develop, but no, um, let's see, so they recommend him as a good sign in, squad rotation, right, you want 6,000, but you're getting paid four at the moment so let's start with four and a half let's see what he says to that oh I don't care about him <clears throat> right I want to see what the starting lineups looking like right so Ashington needs a rest <clears throat> John Rankin Higgins can start Rankin needs a rest Jamie Victory standing captain um, Matthew seems like someone wants you we're going to start you in this game hopefully you might build some interest from uh from the team in question and hopefully they may, they may put a bid in for him because half a million pounds I wouldn't say no to that right now <clears throat> but Dolfo's coming on for Matthews nothing from him whatsoever Come on, Bristol City. Oh, 
Oh, sweet Jesus. We're out of the chuffing cup. Oh, I'm so angry about that. I knew my guide was going to join Wolves. Blatantly obvious. Uh, Palavanerza. Mm. Nick Williams. No, he's not developed yet. Paul Bruce. No. <clears throat> Gifton, Noel Williams. Well, they ain't going to get relegated anytime soon, are they? Stephen Glass. He should have been someone. Tommy Smith. Like, I'm going to have the chance to sign him. <clears throat> oh, what Bywater was that? We, he was on the loan list. That is... Oh, that's annoyed me big time. <clears throat> right, let's try and get Alejandro loaned in. 9th of April, that'll do us right until near the end of the season. Mike Franks, Matthew Murray. Steve Foster, no. Why do I keep pushing the wrong one? Uh, Robbie Savage is going to be joining us at the end of the season. So that's one defensive midfielder I'm really happy to be bringing in at the moment because he, I feel that he can he can really push us forward when it comes to keeping our back line, you know, quite solid. I do think we need one more defensive midfielder to work alongside with him. So we will see, you know, obviously what happens. Then on West Ham wants to sign Louis Carey. So they are obviously seeing something in him. But at the same time, I mean, I know I'm not going to get like Hayden Fox, for example. But I wouldn't mind Hayden Fox in my team. Or you know, try and pump up, pump the uh, money up a little bit more than four hundred thousand. English Vans Trophy. We're, we're oh, Bristol Derby. Can you write this any better? You can't write this script any better for us, can you? Bristol Derby in in our next round of the Vans Trophy. Half a million for Louis Carey. Yeah, I'll take that. So get that money in. That means then we can put a bid in for uh, for someone in the what you, what you call it transfer market. We'll see who's available. <clears throat> right, John Rankin back in the starting lineup. Um, Monty to start and Ashington as well Doig's back as well, brilliant so until Carey situation sorted he's not in the starting lineup nor on the subs bench we've got our new goalie on loan Alejandro, oh Oh, Tony Thorpe's goal was offside. Get away, you stupid ref. Oh, it's, it counts now, does it? Okay, good. It's 1-0 to Bristol City. Come on, boys. Oh, shut up. Ian Hume. Adolfo, come on for Monty. Mix passing. 
Just change it up slightly. Come on, Bristol City. Get in, Brian Bubb makes it 2-1. Get in, boys. Get in. I did really used to like Joe Murphy as well, but he doesn't look that fantastic at the moment, that's for sure. But we've closed the gap against Stoke City. They're only five points clear of us now. West Ham set to sign Carey for half a million. I mean, is there anyone on loan for centre-back? Arthur Nouria. Mm. I mean, strength-wise, he's good. Stamina, he's good. Livermore. That's positioning and all that's rubbish. Okay, Gerald Ithel, he could potentially be his marking though. He's got the potential to, to be able to be developed quite good. Uh, we're putting a loan offer for Can't loan oh. Right, let's just see who's transfer listed. Steve Brown no. Darren Williams. No. Gary Jones. I know he can play defence, midfield and striker, but Markin's good. Strength's good. Stamina's good. Positioning can be a tiny bit better. But 850,000? No thank you. His contract's due at the end of this end of the end of this month. Mohammed Kamara, no. Um. Why am I keeping on going on Mark Robinson? Kit Simons, he's too old. Ashley Westwood, Christ's sake. Oh, he's valued at one million as well. <clears throat> right, who's free transfer? Let's get the stats in for defence. Right. No. <clears throat> He's a no. Peter Valentine, you're way old. Keith Curl's a no. God, how many of these can I not get through on work permits? Right, the rest of them are absolutely shocking. I'm not looking through them. Right, okay, so. <laughs> Carl Rufa. Tacklings for marking 15, position 7, no. I mean, unless we do use Christopher Doig for the rest of the season and we look for a backup left back, because Doig can do the job. See, 
Kamara's got the pace. Tackling's not good though. Scott Minto. Way too much. Way overvalued. Scott Minto. Ian Clark. £22,000 he's valued at. Tell you the truth, I mean, I want to see if any Premier League players are interested in Bristol City. So, I mean, look, I mean, look what we've got here. So. No. Steve Brown at all, no. Simon Charlton. He's not being played. Oh, it's just it's gonna cost too much money. Right, so we'll go through <clears throat> A different way. Ian Ashby. He can't play on the left, he can play on the right though. God, I've never been so frustrated trying to find someone that I can bring in. <clears throat> Stephen Baker. Okay, I can work with this one. <clears throat> Cause, I mean, Lee Crooks. I mean, to be fair, Lee Crooks can stay at right back. Steve Baker can be a centre back. And we still got Doyle that can play centre back or at left back too. So I'm going to start with a cheeky quarter of a million pound bid to see what they say about that right, where's the unhappy people oh Andrew Griffin 1.3 million no thank you All right, we're looking for unhappy people How many loans are there's no unhappy people? Right, so they rejected my offer straight up. Three hundred thousand Middlesbrough. They've accepted it. Right, so what are you getting paid at the moment? You're getting paid two thousand. Let's try one thousand four. And there we go. So we've got Baker in. So we managed to we we managed to make some money from from this deal as well because we sold Carey for five hundred thousand. We brought Baker in for three hundred thousand. Carey was getting paid two grand a week. Baker is getting paid fourteen hundred a week. So we're we're quids in with uh, with this at the moment, which I'm I'm extremely happy about. Right, um, I'm going to start with Peacock in this game. Uh, Doy come off, Baker can start. Doy go on the starting lineup at left back. Twist on the subs bench. We'll go with that for this game. Now we'll have Baker at number four. Come on, Bristol City.
Come on, boys. Where is our passion? Get in! John Rankin! 1 0 to Bristol City. Adolfo coming on for Lee Peacock. Come on. Come on, get him, Brandon. It's 2-0. That's his 15th of the season. Chris Brandon's been phenomenal for us this season so far. So happy with his work. John Rankin. Get in, lad. Tremendous from John Rankin. Absolutely tremendous. We're going to give him a rest now. Doig can have a rest as well. Smashing. Absolutely smashing. Have they still got Shane Tolley? No, they've sold him straight away, didn't they? Sold him to Bolton. He's played a couple of games already. It's, it's crazy how much he... he his value changes straight away. It's crazy. Bristol Rovers bought Chris Casper. That's not a bad deal for them. Wrexham, right. Matthews. Come on, you need these teams need to start getting their checkbooks out. We want to start seeing some uh, some offers for a couple of players that I've got on the transfer market. Because once they're sold, then we can bring in a couple of, you know, we can we can really do it in. Oh, for crying out loud, extensive search for youngsters and bring them in. Get in Adolfo, it's 1-1. One, one. Now we need to go out and go look for that winner now. So we can keep piling on the pressure for Stoke City. Oh, for crying out loud. Seven points. Kyle Shepard. No. You're used as a squad rotation twist. What is wrong with you? Stop being a moaner. Oh, they got rid of Goddard. They're a good lad, rather. That's a shame. And Michael Walsh has gone as well to Leicester City. Wow, so they've got rid of Ambridge Wilkinson. They've got rid of a few of their good players. Right, Lee Matthews. No one wants him now. Get in Brandon. Chris Brandon just cannot stop scoring for us at the moment. Ryan Ashington. It's his first goal for Bristol City. It's absolutely amazing. 2-0 to, to us now. Hopefully we carry on. Get Look for a third before the half time. Shut up, Michael Dobson. <sighs> Dolfo is going to come on for Monty. Brandon's injured. Right, we've got to try and keep hold of this lead. Get in! 
that's going to make it even harder now for Brentford to actually try and make a, a comeback for this. Keep hold of it, keep hold. Or at least we got three points from that. Michael Dobson's a good player. Someone that I do want. And they're close to being relegated as well, which is uh, even better for me. Right, and it's now the 1st of January, so we can start to put some of these uh, some of these deals in. Um, no. Oh, someone wants Matt Hill. He's not on the transfer list. 190,000. No, I'm not really happy to let him go. Right, so let's have a look at the expiring contract. So, goalkeeper. Oh, so we've got a couple of choices now. That's good. So, I've got. Uh, um, it's nice to have a little bit of a selection now. So, let's look at the attributes for goalkeeping. Okay, so. I mean, really, we are looking at these top three right here. Um, Shaka Hislop. Um, I think he's. Uh, I think he is a good, a good goalie. Maybe for Division Two, but I mean, we've got to think we're potentially aiming for Division One. Um, no, he's 38 years old. So, you know, process of elimination. I mean, Thomas Meyer. He's Premier League unproven. Um, positioning is not great but I mean could he be it for us for Division 1 um, I mean potentially I think he can I think he can do it for us in Division 1 I mean if we completely choke and we stay in Division 2 he definitely definitely is able to to, uh, to help us in Division 2 so we're going to start off with contract offer three seven. See what he says to that. Now defenders. Um, let's go with tackling first. Oh, we'll just go for highest valued one first. So Marvin Andrews. I keep saying I want to buy him. I keep saying I want to get him and I never get the opportunity to get him. This could be our chance to finally get him. Um, he's no interest in negotiating terms because he's currently happy at Livingston. Lad, are you serious? Tell you what, we'll give you 3000 and we'll put in uh, the relegation release clause so you can go on a free transfer. Yosef Rossi, he, he he's a no for me. Justin Skinner, he's a no. This is the guy that I want to bring in. I think he can push Bristol City to the next level. So I want to bring, um, is it Christoph? Christoph Ratach Six. I I I'm I probably have said his name wrong, and I apologise. Now. He want, he's demanding 12,000. I don't like the fact that players go, I want, I'm demanding this. So I'm going to put 9,000 in. See if we can go from there. Craig Harrison. Good pace, good acceleration. Tackling needs a lot of work. Stamina is good. Strength, not too good. Positioning's not good. Off the ball marking. So for me... Craig Harrison has got to be a no. But then again, I come across Chris Powell. Pace acceleration's good. Tackling no. Strength, yes. 
stamina yes positioning uh, off the ball yeah marking uh, but I don't want to just get someone for the sake of getting someone I mean they have to fit the type of player I want if they're going to be a, 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 a fullback I mean we've got Samuel Okonowu from Barcelona pace acceleration matches what I want stamina yeah strength no tackling no off the ball no marking no so I mean but then again I've got to think this is for Bristol City and could he actually could he actually be the type of player that we need him to be in Bristol City in Division 1 I don't know that is my God's honest truth I do not know if he can fit the build for us um, I mean other than that I mean we've got Bruno and Gotti but he's past his prime Graham Alexander for, for a right back or for a winger he's not that he's not that impressive I'm on the fence I'm on the fence with that one going into midfield I mean obviously the main focal point is passing but I mean we've got Derek Ferguson who is the latter point of his career Craig Strachan I feel that he's not quite there Neil Gibson no so we'll s drop it down to Rob Lee now I know I said I needed another defensive midfielder because I need someone that's going to be you know that's going to be there to go coincide with Robbie Savage who we're bringing in at the at the um, beginning of next season so I mean I said before I want to bring Stephen Simons in because I think that we can build him up and develop him into a really good player and I've just clicked on the wrong one haven't I you absolute moron Lee Crook no Harold Cerny I keep missing this guy but if I bring him in, then we need to change our formation. But I like the guy. But that's changing the formation to a style I don't really want. But Chris Bart Williams is the guy that I want. I feel that him and Robbie Savage, they can work wonders together. How about as a relegation release clause, 1.1 million, rather than having it as a minimum fee release clause? Um, I mean, you've got John Salarco, James Quinn, Andy Gray. I think that is probably it for midfield. I think it is to be fair so I mean we can go look at up uh, strikers and uh, straight away you know you see Matt Blinkhorn which is someone that um, that can easily be developed into a really good hot prospect for the future so Blinkhorn's definitely someone that I'll bring in and build him up David Graham I said before he's brilliant in Division 3 but I don't think he can do it in Division 2 and I've not given him that opportunity to do it in Division 2 let alone Division 1 so with that said I'm not going to be going for Dave Dave Graham um, Sean Gotry 31 Tom Mooney 30 the problem do I I can't risk it for him well let's just go straight to the top let's just see who's highest valued so we've got Daniel Calamartry there 
Simon ha um, Haworth. Tony Yaboa. I mean, I purposely bring Tony Yaboa in just for the sake it's Tony Yaboa. But that's not the right way to play it, though, is it, at the end of the day? Omar Riza, I mean, he's a phenomenal striker as well. A good youngster. Someone that I would, I'd quite happily build up and use him as a sub, sub player. Mike Sheeran. I think really that is probably everything that we are looking at. I mean, the amount of people that said Mark Hughes, his best positions up front. This is the problem we've got. We got, we have got a fair few strikers. <coughs> so really, we don't need to put anything in for for um, Mark Hughes. I mean, going back into defence. I mean. <sighs> Craig Harrison, I mean, tackling's 0.5 in the league. But is that because he's been playing as a as a defensive midfielder? I'm gonna bite the bullet. He's demanding six grand. I hate it when they say they demand. I think it's more than what I anticipated, to be honest with you. But we'll uh, we'll keep it at that for the time being. Ashington needs a rest, so Doherty is going to start. We need a good result against Huddersfield. Come on, boys. Get him, Brian Bub. Come on, let's make it two. Get in, Tony Thorpe. It's his 50th goal for Bristol City. And now it's 3-0. There's no way coming back for uh, for Huddersfield after that. Just out of curiosity, what's his goal bonus? 325. What's Adolfo's? 30 quid. Adolfo, try and score some more goals and keep Tony Thorpe at bay. So I don't have to pay out as much money. It's 3-1. Win, oh, Winhard makes it 3-1. Oh, sweet Jesus. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Tony Thorpe scores a hat-trick. It's 4-2. And Stoke drew with Blackpool with five points behind them. John Murphy scores for Blackpool. And I want to see what uh, some of these players are going to say about some of the contract offers I've given. I think some of them is a bit questionable. Plymouth Argyle, who did they face? Sheffield United. Louis Sahar's out for 11 months. Oh, wow. That is a massive, massive blow for Fulham. Simon signs a new deal for Hearts. Oh, I'm not gunning for you. Right, he rejects my contract offer.
How about £75,000 offer? Right, Craig Harrison's going to be joining us. So we've got a left back. Chris Bart, Chris Bart Williams is going to Bolton. Right, we've got Blinkhorn coming in. Is that we've got to pay fourteen grand for him? Thomas Meyer, we're bringing him in as well. Omari's uh, three hundred seventy-five thousand. Marvin Andrews, once again, I can't. I don't get the opportunity to bring him in. Oh, I'm going to miss out on that ruddy defender, aren't I? Who wants cyst? Clist rather. Hibs. Monty's not doing anything. Lee Peacock. Let's try and get some people wanting to uh, put a bid in for you. Come on, we should have been 1 0 up there, Bristol. Oh, shut the front door. Get in, Rankin! <sighs> Come on, Bristol City. We need to get a win in this game. Blackpool drew with Stoke last week. And Stoke lost to Chesterfield. Wow. Okay, so now it's starting to look a little bit more intensified with uh, the top five teams. Higgins out for a month. How long's Brandon out for? Another week. Coventry wants Hill. Oh, Magnus Hedman's unhappy. Crying out loud, he would have been an amazing person to be bringing in to Bristol City. It's not going to happen. Who are they playing in goal then? I mean, he's unhappy because he wants a new contract. Ah, Julian Joachim unhappy. Chelsea wants Lee Fowler. Tell you the truth, I mean, I don't want Chelsea nabbing Lee Fowler, so I'm going to put a bid in for him. Right. Quarter of a million for Peacock. 400,000 for Matthews. Please, someone, put in a ruddy bid in for those two players. Get in, Monty! Oh, for Christ's sake. Adolfo, come on for Monty. Doi can come on for... Twiss.
get him. Baker, he scores his first goal for Bristol City. What a time to get it. Because we need to be getting these three points away from Wigan. we still got 25 minutes to go though. Get him, bub. It's surely too much for Wigan now. Of course they're going to score again. Wigan right back in this game again. We just got to... We just got to keep the ball away. Thank Christ for that. Four points behind Stoke. Oh, I knew I wasn't going to get him. I knew it. I knew it. He could have taken us to the next level. He's an important first team player. He's not even playing. He's not even playing Coventry. Stop. Oh, he's an important player for the future. Whoops, I made a mistake on that. Right. Um, let's see what young... Well, oh, there's no youngsters on that. Up to 25. Okay, so we've got the likes of... No, we're not getting that Darren Williams, Westwood, Wheeler, no. Andy Duncan. Steve Woods. He's good for Division 3. I mean, if I'm... If we're going to do that, I might as well try and put a bid in for Dobson. Oh, they got rid of him. Sam Soje, yeah. Ah, uh, oh, that's a shame because I would have, I would have taken him on. Never mind. Right, it's the Bristol Derby, so we need, we need to be playing really good football in this game. Ashington's gonna have to play against Bristol Rovers, even though he's got eighty nine percent. He's gonna have to play, and look what happens when he plays. Get in. 1-0 to Bristol Ro um, City. And then he said Bristol Rovers then. 1-0 to Bristol City. We take the lead in the Bristol Derby. Get in Tony Thorpe. Dolph will come on for Monty. Doherty can come on for Ashington. <sighs> Baker's injured. No, get in. It's not. It's not counted. Adolfo makes it three. It's too much for Rovers to come back. We will take the bragging rights in this Bristol derby. Absolutely amazing. Brilliant. Baker's out for 10 days though. So who are we going to get in the quarter final red in? knew they were going to say no to that who have we got in our reserves I mean to be fair we're probably just going to have to yeah bring up Danny Coles we're just going to have to use one of our uh, 
youth uh, youth players, reserve players, whichever way you want to look at it, and um, just try and um, obviously <coughs> suck it up for the rest of the season. Right, we need to beat Port Vale. We're at Ashton Gate. This is our home turf. We need to win so we can keep piling on the pressure. Get in, Monty. He makes it 1-0 to Bristol City. Get in, Brandon. Back from injury. It's 2-0. Monty makes it 3. It's his fifth goal of the season. Port Vale cannot do anything about this. They are literally getting battered in the second half. Whitehead pulls a goal back. Come on, Bristol City. We can't be letting goals in like that. Stoke, they drew with Tranmere. That puts us two points behind us. Stoke City. We still got what 18 games left of the season to go so anything can happen of course but that is we've made some distance we've made we've managed to claw it back and Stokes not playing against Cambridge today so we can go top of the table in this game. keep the same team keep the same team for the start of this game against Reading come on Rankin come on let's make it 2 we need to make it 2-0 Bristol City come on come on boys get in Monty Monty all of a sudden he's just started scoring goals after goals and he's only getting paid 30 quid a goal for it as well that's brilliant well, I'm going to bring on Coles he can come on for Lever Get him, Monty, with a brace. Monty, I tell you what, he's, he's now starting to turn up. <clears throat> and now we're top of the table for the first time in a fair few games. I know it's going to be short-lived. Wigan sign Richard Goff. That's a good signing for Wigan as well. The experience that they get with Richard Goff in their defence, that is brilliant for them. Everton knocks Liverpool out of the FA Cup. So we're going to have a Division 1 team in the League Cup final. But who's it going to be? So Leeds or Chelsea from Premier League that can be in the, in the final. Tony Thorpe can go on the subs bench for this game. Baker is back, fully fit. <coughs> yeah, keep it like that for the time being. Come on, Bristol. Another win. That's what we need. Another win. Then the then all the pressure is on Stoke City to having to try and continue to win their games to a keep up with us b win their extra game in hand to go back at top of the table and c they've got they're going to be using so much more mental ability to try and keep up with us so just keep winning keep playing the way we've been playing. Tony Thorpe's going to have to come on I think.
Tony Thorpe on for Adolf. No, for Monty. Go away. Seriously, Bristol City, come on. For crying out loud. Of course, Stokes back at top of the table. Two points clear. We shouldn't have lost that game against Wickham Wanderers. Uh, a radio talk show host has indicated that he, if he was in charge of Crystal Palace, Craig Harrison would be the first player out the door. Excuse me, lad, you cannot be talking about my player like that. He will be joining us at the end of the season, beginning of next season. You cannot be talking about my players like that. Uh, that is totally, totally disrespectful to, towards me and my players. So if I was you, matey boy, stay out of it. There's, there's a reason why you're, you, you're on the radio. You're a wannabe. You're a wannabe host person. Right, we've got we've moved Jamie uh, Victory into left back. We put Christopher Doig in at centre back. Getting Brandon. Um, reason being, as a uh, get in again, Brandon. Reason being, so I haven't really seen much of Jamie Victory participation in the game, so. We've moved Jamie Victory out onto left back to uh, see how he gets along. But at this moment in time, it's uh, Bristol City 2, Reading 0 in the Vans Trophy quarter final. And Brandon scores a hat trick. Brandon is more valuable than my strikers. That is saying something massive, that is. So giving Chris Brandon the rest of the game to rest now. Make sure he's 100% uh, fit for the next game. Because without a shadow of a doubt, we've we've beaten Redden without a shadow of a doubt. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh, eyes offside. Unlucky Butler. So us, Oxford, Swansea and Torquay. Torquay's managed to get through to the semi-finals. Who on God's green earth is this? I've not come across him before. Oh, you know what that means, don't you? You know what that means. I'm going to get Torquay United. What, here he comes. Torquay United. There we go. I knew we were going to get Torquay United. I knew it was going to happen. So I have to beat my team that I love and support. Gellingham beat Sunderland. Well, I got to beat the team that I love and support with with a with a rival of ours. That is horrible. Might just throw the game on purpose just for the sake of it because that is downright horrible for me. Well, that's that's been put to bed for a little while, but oh, thank God it was disallowed. Right, come on, Bristol City. Let's just calm down. Monty makes it 1-0. Get in, lad. Come on. We need to make it 2. We need to make it 2-0, boys. Get in, Crooks. And Thorpe makes it 3-0. It's surely dead and buried. There's no way back for Burry to come, come back from this. So Dolfo's going to come on for Tony Thorpe. Higgins come on for Rankin. Come on, boys. Let's make it 4 0. Let's 
Let's make it for Bristol City. Come on. Come on. Nah, 3 0. How does Stoke get along? They beat Oldham 4 0. So we've got a slightly better goal difference than Stoke. So they do not want the title race to go down to a goal difference because we 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 would we would be beating them hands down. Right, Rotherham wants to buy Doherty. They put in a three thousand pound bid in for him. So let's see how much they're gonna up their price to, or if they're just gonna go meh can't be bothered no I knew it I knew it <coughs> right, away at Cardiff City um, oh, who wants Christopher Doig Fulham Fulham wants him I ruddy hate you. I hope you get relegated, Fulham. All right, let's try um, Coles in centre back. I think it might be about time for us to start just trying to um, get that base covered because I think the Doig transfer is going to go. Th I think Fulham's going to put a bid in for him. Graham Kavanagh. What are you doing, lad? Get him, Brandon. Straight away. Cardiff City score, and we score straight after the kickoff. We must have took the kick we must have took our kickoff and just shot straight away from the centre circle. Because how can you do it that quick? <clears throat> We're keeping Coles on. I think it's it's getting ranking. I think it's really important for uh, for Coles to develop, especially if we're going to have to use him for the rest of the season. If Doig does go, I'm talking like he's you know he's he's going to be going. Oh my god! I'm talking like it. Oh shut up! No way! Oh, that's just going from bad to worse. Stoke City win with five points behind again. Oh, that's wound me up. And now we've got to face my team, Talk United. Doig's back in the starting lineup. I'm not happy that we're having to face Talk United. Oh, I just realised um, Ashington and Brandon's playing against their old team, Talk United. And obviously, Talk United's got my Goodridge. He's playing against his old team, us. So, three players facing their old teams here in this game today. I've not come across that before. Come on, Bristol. Why am I saying that when I'm see Talk United on the screen? Brian Bubb makes it 1-0 to Bristol City. I am keeping my emotions to a minimum as best as I can because I really don't want to cheer uh, for the sake of, you know, at, at Talk United's expense. I don't really want to cheer. It's dirty. It's dirty. It really is. Tony Thought makes it 2 now. It's too much for Torquay United now. Oh my god! Alejandro's been sent off. Adolfo's coming off. He's only been on the pitch for seven minutes. Mark Nichols. The scout said he'll he'll pounce on any chance given. Tony Thought makes it 3 1. It's too much for them, definitely now. 3-1 to Bristol City. It's we we should be 
we should be home and dry now. If we do make it to the final, as long as Talking United don't make a miraculous recovery, there we go. Brandon scores against his old club. I'm going to say Brandon didn't celebrate against his uh, old team. Oh, and Goodridge is injured. Well played, Torquay. You did your absolute best against us, but unfortunately, we were the better team. And now we will have to be facing Swansea City. And the board are happy with a 4 1 win over Torquay United. I'm not. I'm not happy with that win. I feel disgusted that I've had to destroy my my team that I love. <clears throat> so Chelsea Portsmouth in the League Cup final. Can Portsmouth do the dub them um, the dirty on them? Um, Adolfo is going to start in this game. Come on, Bristol City. Now we can start cheering for them again now. Even though I still feel dirty that I, that I beat Talk United with them. Chris Brandon. How many goals? Is that 24 goals for Chris Brandon? He is an absolute machine. Still 1-0 at half time. And <clears throat> as I said before, Chris Brandon, he's he's more valuable than my strikers. And Hal Alejandro is injured right now. What is going on with him? Mike Stowell is back in goal for the second game in a row. He's going to have to try and... Oh, there we go. Brian Bubb makes it 2-0. It is all over. Brandon makes it three. It's the 25th of the season. Chris Brandon is absolutely incredible. And he's playing in central midfield, running up to attacker midfield. And Stoke lost to Brentford. We're back to two points behind him with 13 games to go. Alejandro's out for a month. <laughs> <clears throat> so we've got Christopher Doig leaving us in uh, April as well no he's no we've got Doig to the end of the season if I recall yeah Alejandro leaves in April um, so who have we got Colchester right we need to bring in Phillips Stoll starts in goal <clears throat> Ashington needs a rest. A Doherty can start. <clears throat> oh, Hislop's been sent off for Colchester. They're down to 10 men in the 10th minute. Come on, boys. Let's go out and ramp. Just ram. Colchester. We need to ram them so we can just get our goal difference so much better. And Brandon, again, he is, he, he's he got to be Bristol City's player of the year. And he's got to be in the team of the year for Division 2 as well. Keep the same team for the second half. Oh, Adolfo, what are you diving for? We don't need to be diving. Brandon, that's two hat tricks in a row, isn't it? Or he's, he scored two hat tricks in three games at least. Chris Brandon, he he's a monster. <clears throat> 
Tony Thorpe's injured. Five nil. What a win. <coughs> We're still two points behind them. But our goal difference is significantly better than theirs. So Stoke just needs to keep winning and just pray and hope that we slip up. We're just going to keep playing our game. And when Stoke City slip up, we'll be there to take top spot and we'll then be gunning for the rest of the season. Away against Brighton, Stoke at home against Huddersfield. So Brian Bubb, player of the young player of the month. And Stokes Peter Hoskra. Host, right, so Tony Thorpe injured, Adolfo suspended. So Monty and Lee Matthews is going to be starting in the, in the game. Chris Brandon needs a rest. I'm not surprised Chris Brandon needs a rest. He has been absolute fire, lad. Oh no! So he scored against um, Torquay. I swear he scored. He scored a hat trick recently. Oh, he scored a hat trick against Redden. So, so he scored three against Redden. <clears throat> okay, so he didn't score in that game. So he scored two, um, one against Cardiff, one against Torquay, two against Bournemouth, and three against Colchester. So three, five, six, seven goals in four games for a central midfielder. He is a monster. And right now I've got the song, um, what's that coming over the hill? Is it a monster song stuck in my head? But instead of saying, what's that coming over the hill? Is it a monster? You'd be saying, what's that coming over the hill? Is it Chris Brandon? Is it Chris Brandon? Because he is a monster. But Monty makes it 1-0 against Brighton. Like I said, if... Oh, Pitcher. Jeff Pitcher equalises for Brighton. And Lee Matthews. What are you doing? Oh, absolute idiot. Shut up. No way. That is just ridiculous. Monty, we need you to step up, lad. Come on, get in! Higgins equalise! Oh, shut up. And Doig's injured as well. We're dropping points against Brighton here. Oh, that's annoyed me big time. And Stoke, of course they win. They beat Huddersfield. Five points clear. Doig's out for three weeks. So we're literally going to have him for like three more games after that. <coughs> well, apparently Clist is wanted by Chelsea. So transfer speculation says. Yeah, okay. Chelsea have not said anything about that. But I'll say yeah. Confirm the rumour. Ross Anderson has been promoted. He could develop okay. Right, no doig. So victory is going back into centre back. Coles in on subs bench. Adolfo partners up with Monty. John Rankin needs a rest. <clears throat> right, we need Ashington for this game. Then he can rest against Cambridge. Vange Trophy South Final first leg. 
Can we get our first trophy of the season by winning the Vans trophy? Come on boys, we need to we need to win at Swansea today. Come on. <clears throat> Adolfo 1-0. Get in you little beauty. Get in Adolfo. That is what I've been wanting you to do all season. Brandon does it again. Come on. 3-0 in the first leg. That is absolutely... Oh, shut up. Kujak makes it 3-1. Right, um, Coles. Give victory a rest. Peacock on for Monty. Three one, good, good victory. <coughs> but now we've got to start thinking about um, Cambridge for our next game. Right, Bradford, offer us more than fifty grand for Doherty. I'll take it. I'm just trying to get as much money. Wow, wow. Dortmund had both keepers sent off. 7-0. So Dead A there. Left back. Gets sent off. Lehman gets sent off. And Philip Lowe gets sent off. That is incredible. And that puts Dortmund rock bottom. They're not going to qualify for the next round of the Champions League with that with that goal difference. Stoke, how do they get on? They drew with Wigan. Six points behind. We've got to beat Cambridge to get back to be three points behind. Um, to be three points behind. Oh, what are they called Stoke City. Uh, why are you trying to nick my... Oh, I'll have the 40,000 compensation, yeah. So Doherty looks like he's going to be bought for £240,000. £90. I'm going to rest you and give Doherty this game. Um, how's everyone else looking? What about John Rankin? 100% brilliant. Come on, boys. Come on. Not changing anything. I was going to put Peacock on, but what's the point? Because he's not going to do anything, is he? I mean, at least I've got a slight chance with Monty and Adolfo up front. to take in the lead come on boys got five minutes yes John Rankin get in you little beauty oh we're still fighting for this championship even though Stoke won they're still six points clear we're still fighting for this they are not going to get an easy ride. A lot of heavy injuries happening at the moment. 
But yeah, as I said, they're not going to get an easy ride. They have got to keep fighting. They've got to keep winning. Doherty is going to be completing his move to Bradford City. Where are they in the league at the moment? They're fifth. They could, they could get promoted still. That's the second player Bradford would have bought from me as well. Third. They bought three players from me. 350, 350, that's 700,000. So they spent 940,000 pounds of players of mine. Oh, Don Hutchinson. Shame he's going to want so much money. There's no point going for him at all. Jason McAteer. Now there's someone that I can I can use experience. I mean we we we've we've missed out on um, Chris Bart Williams, but Jason McAteer. That's huge experience that we could use in our team. I am slightly interested. 1.4 million. Now I'm not interested. Brilliant. Thanks for bursting my bubble. Um, shut up. Thorsten Fink. He's actually in, in, interested in joining Bristol City. I mean, he's a winner. He's a natural born winner. Playing for Bayern Munich, obviously, the their reserves. But he's a winner. And... I'm really interested in bringing him in. I'll tell you what, I mean, I am interested in bringing him in, but we need to drop that transfer fee to a quarter of a mil, see what we if we can get away with that first of all. Alejandro's missing one more game, but he's still got three weeks left of his injury. <clears throat> We're taking a 3-1 lead from Swansea's uh, stadium to the second leg at Ashton Gate. All we need really is one goal. Get in, Chris Brandon. Chris Brandon, you are my hero for the season. You are my hero. Swansea it's going to be too much for them to to beat us 3-1 at Ashton Gate that's asking for quite a lot of them <clears throat> keeping the same team for the second half get in it's too much we're going to the final the final final of the Vange trophy and we are in with a massive chance to win our first trophy and we'll have a look at the history momentarily to see when was the last time r2-1 Mazzina pulls a goal back for Swansea but Monty scores his 10th of the season it's 6-2 on aggregate 3-1 on the night and we will be facing Huddersfield I mean, we were runners-up two seasons ago against Stoke. <coughs> Obviously not before or after that, but history-wise. We were first division winners back in 1906. And Premier Division runners-up in 1907. So we've only ever won one thing back in 1906 and now we have the chance, we have the chance to finally end that drought, they rejected my bid, in over 96 years.
300,000 for Fink. Problem is, I don't even know what wages he's going to want. 8,000. <clears> He's on 12 at the moment. Alright, how about... We drop it to 5.5 first. Right, he rejects that. Six and a half. He accepts six and a half thousand pounds a week. From what is he getting paid? Twelve. Twelve and a half. So he's dropping down six grand to come join Bristol City. And there we go, we've got Thorsten Fink. <coughs> I'm quite happy to have him in our team. And we're at home against Swindon Town straight away. He's in the starting lineup because I think we need to give him a chance to be able to um, <coughs> feel comfortable within the team. And you can have the 42 shirt because I want to be an idiot. Uh, Bristol City are showing off their new their new sign-in, who's uh, a former winner at Bayern Munich and Germany. Thorsten Fink, Thorsten Fink, sorry. And ranking makes it two. Swindon, they won't know what to do. It's oh, was that gold just loud? Then that's a shame. Thorsten Fink so far, he looks like he's doing pretty well. Very well for us at the moment, and uh, I'm dead happy to see that. <coughs> to imagine as well, that cost me £300,000. I mean, I'm probably am only going to get him for the rest of the season, more than likely. Or I might be lucky and get another season out of him, but... You know, we sell Doherty... And you know we bring in a winner like uh, like Fink. <coughs> and with the ability for him to be able to play in the Vange Trophy final and help us potentially win our first trophy in 96 years, that'll be it, it'll be amazing for uh, for Bristol City. And Stoke lost to Cardiff. With our game in hand, we are only three points behind Stoke City. James Edwards turned up late. Naughty boy. And now he's injured for three weeks. Oh my god, can't even write that. Port Vale are trying to catch up, but they ain't gonna catch up now. They're 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 gonna stay in the playoff places. Stokes playing Burry, but we're away against Notts County. And James Edwards, I'll, I'll tell you what, he, he he just he's so much drama. James Edwards, he can go. Right, Tony Thorpe has got a light injury. I'm not playing him. Um, Doig's back from injury. No, that way. Uh, sub two, Michael Twiss. <clears throat> right, come on, boys! Come on, City! We need to uh, we need to get another win because Stoke City's going to beat Bury. <coughs> They're going to beat them, so we need to continue winning. Oh, 
Come on, boys. Come on, City. Get in! John Rankin! And Brandon again! Who have they got in goal? Shaka Hislop. Got Darren Kasky. Kevin Nicholson, who's a Torquay United legend. And obviously Shaka Hislop uh, in goal. <coughs> but still. <coughs> Notts County can't. They can't keep up with us. And Monty makes it 3-0. 3-0 for Bristol City. And Fink... 4-0 now. Brilliant. Fink's brilliant. He, he, he's bossing that midfield. He's bossing that defensive midfield area. I'm happy with that acquisition. Stoke won again. But they, no, oh, they officially reached the playoffs. So if we win our next game, we're officially in the playoffs as well. We're not bringing anyone else in. We're not letting anyone else go. Deadline's gone. Blackpool. Right. Um, Rankin. Brandon. Monty needs to rest. Uh, um. Right. Higgins can come on for Rankin. That's going to be the only change we do. So Tony Thorpe back in the starting lineup, as well as Alex Higgins. <clears throat> so Monty and John Rankins taking rest for this game. Come on, Bristol. He's a boss in that midfield, isn't he? Think. <clears throat> He's an absolute boss. Come on, City. Oh, come on, boys. <clears throat> Get him, Brandon. We have to rely on Chris Brandon to continue scoring these goals. Right, let's make it two because I don't I don't like uh, one nil leads. Get in Higgins. 2 0. All out, think. Magnificent. <clears throat> I'm so happy with Fink in our defensive midfield. So we've reached playoffs without a shadow of a doubt. Um, we've not quite hit automatic promotion. <clears throat> Portsmouth, go on, do the dirty over Chelsea. No, of course you won't. Um, as I say, we've not quite hit automatic promotion yet. <coughs> but it'll only take a couple of games and we've hit automatic promotion. But this is the game. We've got to beat Chesterfield to, to hopefully overtake um, Stoke City in the league Monty can start Adolfo on the subs bench Alejandro's back when does he leave the ninth <clears throat> So he, his last game will be against Stoke City away. So I'm happy with that because he'll be there for the Stoke game. <clears throat> right, boys, City, we need to win. <clears throat> we need to win this game to go top of the table. 
Get in, Thorpe. Get in. And if we win this game, we've got six games left of the season whereby we've got to stay top of the table. <clears throat> Come on. Oh, shut up. How on earth is people getting past Fink? in Alex Higgins in the 90th minute we're top of the table now we're top of the table now and our next game our next game is us facing off against Stoke City I am pumped for this I am so pumped for this right now John Rankin back in the starting lineup That's our team. <clears throat> and Alejandro, this is his last game for Bristol City. I wish we signed him up. <coughs> Come on. Come on, City. Monty! 1 0 to Bristol City. It's 2. Chris Brandon, get in, you little beauty. Chris Brandon's 33rd goal of the season. Such a monster. <clears throat> How's Fink getting along? Fink's not made any successful tackles in this game. So Ryan Ashington's going to come on. <clears throat> Adolfo can rest on the bench for this game. Come on, City. <clears throat> oh, shut up. No way. He's coming on now. And Brian Bob's coming on for uh, Higgins. Come on, just keep hold of this lead. Keep hold of the lead. Get in. Tony Thorpe's 25th goal of the season. It's 3-1 to City. <clears throat> oh, what a brilliant, brilliant game. Ashington even didn't even make any chuffing tackles whatsoever. We're three points clear. With five games to go. And we are officially promoted to the first division. That's brilliant. That is amazing. That's exactly what we want. But we still got five games to go in the league. We still got the Vange Trophy final. Can we bring home our first trophy in 96 years? We've got to win our next few games to find out. Right, Rankin swap with Higgins, then Bub swap with Higgins. Adolfo can start in this game. <clears throat> Mike Stowell back in goal. Halle Alejandro has now gone back to his parent club. Knowing that he's helped us in the last 16, le 16 games to, uh, to qualify for Division 1 by gaining automatic promotion at the very, very least. Now it's up to us. It's up to us to try and continue on with that run and hopefully win the win Division 2 title and hopefully win the Vans Trophy title as well. C 
come on boys come on City we're so close we just need to score a goal it's not happening <clears throat> and Stoke wins and now we're one point clear <clears throat> We're one point clear of Stoke. And now we've got to face Northampton, who beat us in the reverse fixture. And Stoke's got Brighton. <clears throat> Brandon, I'm keeping you on. <clears throat> Come on, City. Get him, Brandon! This is what I'm talking about. I need a Brandon to stay on. Monty comes on for Adolfo. It's 2-0. This is the win that we needed in the last game. Oh, come on, boys. Northampton, they, they can't hack it at the moment. <clears throat> Not with hard man Fink in defensive midfield. Boss in that area. Right, Brandon can come off. Higgins can come on. Fink can come off. Swap them over. <clears throat> We'll take off Tony Thorpe as well because he had uh, quite a low condition as well, didn't he? As well as Monty. So Adolfo can come on. <clears throat> come on. Keep it 2-0. Keep it at 2-0. <clears throat> oh, that is brilliant. And Brighton wins. We're four points clear with three games to go. And now the time has come for us to get ourselves ready for the Vange Trophy final. They want Paul Holland. He's been on. He's been injured for the whole season. He's only just come back from injury. <clears throat> Six hundred thousand for Paul Holland. Yes, please. He's on five, nearly six grand a week. <clears throat> So let's see, did Stoke play? Stoke beat Bournemouth. So they're a point behind us, but we do have a game in hand. But now we've got to think about this final. <clears throat> so we've got our best team out. Everyone is 100% fit. It's now all about, can we win the Vans Trophy? Our first championship, our first trophy in 96 years. The last one coming in 1906 when Bristol City won Division 1 title. Can we do it? 96 years, boys. It's been a long time coming, Bristol City. It's a long time coming. You need to bring this, tro this trophy home. Adolfo's got to come on for Monty. <clears throat> come on. Bob! Bob in the 49th minute! Get in! 
Get in and think. He scores his first goal for his new club. It's 2-0 in the Vans Trophy final with 30 minutes to go. Bristol City are surely taking home their first trophy in 96 ruddy years. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on. Four minutes to go. Two minutes to go. The fans are cheering. The fans are whistling. They want the game over. It's all over. It's all over. Our first trophy in 96 ruddy years. 1906 was the last time we won something. It's now 2002. Oh my God. That. That's incredible. We, we've managed to win our first trophy in 96 years. That's amazing for Bristol City. Absolutely amazing for Bristol City. But now we've got to concentrate on the league with three league games to go. Middlesbrough's put a transfer bid in for Christopher Doig. They they can they can do that. It's not an issue. West Ham appoint David Moyes as their new manager. <clears throat> Keep the same team. Now last time we faced Red and we beat them in the Vans Trophy. I think it was in the quarter final. So we need to win again because we still have our game in hand but we just do not want to play that hand where we have to win our game in hand to go back at top of the table <coughs> Chris Brandon his 35th goal of the season and again this man just cannot stop scoring and Christopher Doig's injured crap <clears throat> oh, come on Bristol City come on Tony Thorpe it's all over <coughs> I was going to put another sub on I was going to put a sub on rather but there's no need to now We've got the three points. And I mean, even if Stoke City won, we're still one point in front with a game in hand. Stoke wins, so. <clears throat> Who's our game in hand against? <coughs> Tranmere. Then we finish our last game against Oldham. And they've got no Matthew Tipton as well. Millwall made a bid for Simon Clist. Wow, was he really rated that high? £1.1 million. Pounds. Oh, Cherno Samba's there. Give me Cherno Samba. Give me Cherno Samba. You can have Clist. What a season Brian Bubb has had. Do do. Give me Cherno Samba. They've accepted it. They've accepted it. We, we're going to get Cherno Samba. Oh, shut up. You're not interested in that. Oh, what a dick move that is by you. So 1.1 million's dropped to £875,000. Cheers, Cherno. <clears throat> <coughs> right, Twist is going to have to go at left back. Victory there, Cole's on the bench. I just realised if we win this game, we've won the league. If we win this game, we win the league. So, Bristol City. 
Oh my god. <coughs> Seriously, don't play this game with me. Do not play this game with me, Bristol City. Why are we going to do this? <coughs> Monty makes it 2 1. Tony Thorpe, get off. The whole of Ashton Gate has gone absolutely quiet because Bristol City are losing. 2-1 we needed to win this to win the game get in think come on oh my god we need one goal and we've won the title we need to score one goal and we win the title Chris Brandon get in hold it hold it We need to make sure we hold this. Oh! <laughs> it's been disallowed, thank God. <coughs> oh my God, our goal's disallowed. Come on, 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 come on. Yes! Bristol City are the champions of Division 2 with one game spare. The fans are ecstatic. <clears throat> the fact that we've won the Vans Trophy, our first trophy in 96 years. And then we win our next trophy, literally a week, two weeks later. <clears throat> Absolutely incredible. It really, really is. We, we have been... We have been absolutely fantastic this season. It is, it is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And Monty, in our last league game of the season, makes it 1-0 in the 14th minute. <coughs> Can we go on to complete this season fantastically with another win? And John Sheridan's been sent off at Oldham. They're down to 10 men. Come on, boys. Let's go make it 2-0, 3-0, 4-0, 5-0. We've got to do it now. Tony Thorpe, get in, lad. <clears throat> oh, we took Tony Thorpe off. Now, is that going to start? <clears throat> it's 3-0. Well done, Think. <clears throat> <clears throat> is that going to start rumours flying around that Tony Thorpe could be leaving in the, in the next season? We don't know. We will find out. But Bristol City 3, Oldham Athletic 1, 30 minutes to go in our last game of this season. And I still can't believe the fact that we've won two titles in one season for Bristol City. And it's 4-1 getting. And they haven't won anything for 96 years this is only the second and third trophy they've ever won in their history and that is fantastic for Bristol City there we go there we have it 4-1 and Stoke drew with Swindon Town on the last game of the season <clears throat> I mean look at that that is brilliant 101 goals scored 39 conceded 104 <clears throat> points oh that's brilliant that is absolutely brilliant I mean our finances are starting to look a little bit healthy now <coughs> but guys if you have enjoyed this video please guys you need to make sure that you do smash a like on this video subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell too I want to see who is going to be coming up to 
Division 1 with us and Stoke. At the same time, trying to make some extra money on the side as well. Wheeling, dealing. I'm going to reject that bid. <clears throat> Chesterfield now offered, made a final offer. Go away. Burnley makes a final offer for that. We'll take that. F Arsenal wins the FA Cup. Liverpool are so close to winning the title, but Man United do have a game in hand. One thing's for sure, we we definitely need a new goalie. <clears throat> Even if it is a sub goalie. So it's Tranmere and Port Vale in the playoff final for Division 2. <clears throat> Who is coming up with us and Stoke City to Division 1? And then we're going to see who's been relegated from the Premier League. Man United won the Premier League anyway, so let's see who's been relegated. Charlton, Derby and Fulham. And they uh, could they use the fact that they had no Louis Saha for the last three, four months? Man U win the league title. They lose the Champions League final on a, um, extra time. But who is going up in the Division 2 playoff? <clears throat> Tranmere. So guys, as you can see, Bristol City, us, we are champions. Stoke second, Tranmere getting promoted via the playoffs. It's us three going up to Division 1. And Warsaw, Stockport and Sheffield United are being relegated from there. And obviously, as you know, the teams who are being relegated from the Premier League into Division 1. But guys, like I said, if you've liked this video, smash the like on the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell too. The players that we're bringing in at the start of the season, Matty Blinkhorn, uh, Phil Mulrine, <coughs> Robbie Savage, Craig Harrison, Omar Riza and Thomas Meyer. They're the people <coughs> that we're bringing in to Bristol City. So if you want a second season with Bristol, Bristol City, do you want to see how we get along in Division 1, if we can hack it in there, if we're going to have a relegation dogfight, or if we're going to be able to get promoted into the Premier League? If you want to see that in the second season, you need to make sure you smash like on a video. 50 likes is what we need to get us for the second season with Bristol City. But guys, once again, as always, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, in fact, for all the love and all the support that you give to us. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you the next video that we have on this channel here at TGR. That's Gaming Robbo.